That's right. They're pre-rendered. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're pre-rendered. So uh, th that in that sense, it's uh, it's different from a, a, a 2D animation, mm -hmm. 2D and the on the fly animation, which is done by a physics engine, which like, for example, Alice is is doing. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, I guess uh, I should point this out to uh, as I was playing the app. One thing that I actually by chance hit on is it's kind of to me it it looks feels like a bug for the fact that like if I uh, put the, while reading the book put the machine on to sleep and then bring it back the moving the some of the images don't don't move anymore like are you guys uh, aware of the problem and you guys trying to fix it yeah we're we're hoping to have a an upgrade, the first upgrade, uh, ready in a couple of days. We're, okay. There's a, we're, we hope to fix that issue mm -hmm. um, as best we can. You know, the, like the, the funny thing is, unless we have to, be, it has to be repeatable, right? Mm -hmm. We have to right, right. repeat bug. And we've took taking your note, and it, we appreciate your note, and uh, it's definitely wow. helpful to help get us to focus where mm -hmm. where the issue might be. Mm -hmm. uh, we found in doing our beta testing that. Uh, I wouldn't. I didn't keep enough track of numbers, but I'd say in about one out of about thirty instances, when we would download a new beta release of the story onto an iPad, uh, it, it would it would kind of get bogged down, and we would have to reboot the iPad. Mm -hmm. and, uh, in our experience, when you once the re, the iPad was rebooted, the problem went away. Mm -hmm. um, and I suspect. Uh, you know yourself. You can't. You don't know what what people have on their iPads. Whether or not mm. the iPads are cracked. Whether or not they're not cracked. Mm. Uh, how how much they've been used. Literally things like uh, how much power is left. We have. We don't know. Uh, we can't. We can't reproduce the conditions in which uh, people might report a, a bug. Mm. Having said that, when you you being the engineer that you yeah. are, you know, <laughs> software guy. You're, you're trying to be systematic about it. Mm. If you can help us define it, of course we're going to address it. Like, mm. we definitely want to be responding to everyone's mm. uh, uh, um, concerns and make sure that we that the ex user experience is top notch. That's mm. ultimately what we want. We want the user experience to be top notch. Right. And so it's good to hear. <laughs> so you guys are actively, if you hear problem reports and whatnot, and if, especially if you guys can reproduce it, which I, I totally understand. Like the hardest to to crack bug is not that you don't want to solve it, but then it's, if it is very intermittent and you can't reproduce it easily, like those are the toughest bug. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, get, I'm glad that once you guys identify a problem and we pro be able to reproduce it, you a few days later you're going to bring up a new version. That yeah, we're 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 not only we're not the new version is not only going to address the the bugs. We're also uh, putting in some extra features. We've got oh. some um, more more sounds that we're adding wow, random cool. sounds. So in the same way we have the random camera points of view, it'll yeah. also randomly choose extra sounds to play. Okay. Uh, we've got a lovely um, uh, piece of uh, singing that oh, we're really? going to uh, include. Uh -huh. uh, um, and there's a, some uh, upgrades to some of the QuickTime movies. Mm. That's that some of the pages of uh, of, of animation. Uh, we're 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 fixing a couple of things. Uh, one thing, for example, you may not have noticed this, but originally, right now, the um, there's a bumblebee that makes an appearance, and uh, mm. we've added we've added the sound effect of the bumblebee. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So. You know things like that, which you know, uh, there's so much going on. As you know, it's already so rich. Uh, for for the first two or three times, you may not notice, mm. uh, but uh, we we've addre we're addressing these things as well as addressing the uh, stability issues as we as we can, and uh, we hope to have uh, an upgrade up ready within within the week. Wow, it's exciting. So, yeah. so yeah. yeah, as I told you uh, off the record, but now on the record. I bought my iPad <laughs> just so that I can review your application. Of course, I'm going to play with other stuff, but hey, I, I did pick up that so I can review the application, and, and I, I had a lot of fun. So let me conclude by asking you, uh, conclude this part oh, wait, of the interview. Wait a sec, wait a sec. I want to just show you something here, yeah, okay? Well. <laughs> I have an iPod Touch here. Uh -huh. Can you see this? I see a very bright screen. If you, okay. Oh. Anyway. I see a bit of dark, but a very bright screen. 
It's very bright. Oh, anyway, yeah. it's the pet. Oh, it's I, the, I, I, I see Peddler. <laughs> I see Peddler Lady. It's the Peddler Lady. We've got the Peddler Lady working, uh, the first part of the story, working on the iPhone. Oh, that's cool. Touch. Yeah. Uh, very exciting. And uh, we really weren't sure how it was going to read, you know, whether or not the text was going to be too small. Yeah, and uh, the text. It's going to work. It's fabulous. fabulous. It's beautiful. Is, is this the iPhone 4 with a better screen or... No, this is actually this is actually a second generation iPod Touch, so it's slow oh, as touch, second generation. Oh, no, but no, but the, it's using the new operating system, so it'll okay. it'll work a dream on the iPhone four and the oh, iPhone wow. three uh, so GS. Sort of for the first few pages, how's the text looks like and uh, the animation? It looks great. It wow. totally that's looks great. Like, uh, and that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, it's now working. So we've got it working on the. This is on the iPod Touch. Second generation, so mm. this is the slowest device uh, oh. that it can possibly run on, and it's already charming. So oh, we cool. think that when for you know the majority of the users will be either third generation mm. iPod Touch or iPhone 3GS or indeed the iPhone 4, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be really wonderful. Oh, and nice. so we're we're again. I don't want to put dates because you you never know with these things. But we're very close to being able to uh, have the full story working on that on the iPhone, and and that's a really exciting development. Mm, right. Uh, so so people would actually buy the same app and which will run on the iPad and the, the iPod Touch, or they have a you have you have a separate version for the iPod Touch. It'll be a separate version because um, you might, you know when when you use the iPod. Well, there's a resolution issue, uh, which is a concern, but also it, the, actually the biggest issue is the on the iPad, they use uh, Apple allows you to do what are called popovers. So you can have windows that pop over uh, an underlying image, oh. uh, whereas you, can't, you don't have that functionality in the, on the iPhone. Oh. So uh, we, we, we have to oh, no, uh, adjust well, on the iPhone 4. Uh, so the, the new iPhone, the iOS 4, uh, doesn't allow that. Uh, functionality, so we have to um, uh, make adjustments in terms of the the toolbar, the taskbar, and the the icons um, uh, for the iPhone. So it, no, I I have to check hundred uh, to it, it's more than likely going to be set, sold as a separate as a separate application. Mm. Now, in theory, although now that you say it, in theory, if you buy the iPhone the iPhone version, it should play on the iPad. Yeah. Yeah, so, but it won't be the other way around. It won't do the other way around. Mm -hmm. Because of the, if nothing else, if for the resolution of the screen yeah. issue and why, and because this is storybook telling, it's, it's yeah. not not a game where you can shrink it and whatnot, and, and looks uh, things look the same. Yeah. Yeah. So your next uh, book in a series is the Unwanted Guest. Have you guys yep. started uh, the the story or the research or some work? Like, how far along is that? Uh, we started animating yesterday. Oh, so uh, we've the story's written. Uh, it's laid out. Uh, the characters are designed, um, and we're we're animating. Um, it's a it's a it's a simple story. Uh, uh, again, in the sense that there's not uh, does there there are two main characters. Um, I'm not going to give anything away. It's really. It's lovely. It's a, again a lovely story, uh, an an old old story that we're we're doing our our, our we're taking for a walk and, mm -hmm. and updating it, right. and uh, we think it'll appeal to all sorts of people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, said, uh, we're quite when, excited. When you said the characters are designed, you mean like you have a two D look and feel of the character, or you actually have yeah. a three D model of the character that you're going to move around? Oh, like we have the three D model built. Um, uh, let me just tell you quickly the the process. You need to design the character, so that and that's normally done by drawing. And sometimes uh, you depends on a film. You know, on a, on a on an animated film, you you often would uh, build out of clay um, what's called a maquette of of the of the of the characters uh, to work out all the proportions and and make sure it works well. Uh, but we're we're well versed at this uh, these methods, so we we take uh, shortcuts. So. We've worked with uh, the same um, uh, conceptual designer, Alan Clark, an Irishman, mm -hmm. uh, an Irishman who works out of Berlin. <laughs> 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 uh, 
him, we're working with him again on this second story. So he's uh, given us some drawings and uh, they're really just sketches. Mm -hmm. And then we take those sketches and then we go into a 3D uh, animation package, Maya, and uh, we model up a, a 3D version of this character. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have we get all, make sure we get all the proportions right. And, and then we texture it and uh, we, we make sure it's all, it's all uh, looking correct. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we put in the intelligence, as I would call it. So you put bones inside the, inside the, the model. Right. And so uh, then you make so you move the lines. limbs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you, we make it so it can be puppeteered, as I would say. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, that's all done on the two the two characters. So we are now animating in the scene. So now we are, um, I as the director, I block in the scene. So I'm choosing where the camera is going to go, and I I work out the timings of what's going to happen uh, in the particular shots and uh, what the loop points are going to be. Because we try to make all the uh, all the pages be uh, loopable, mm -hmm. and um, and now we we started animating. So we started that yesterday. So we are. You know, we're weeks away from having the second one, uh, uh, a beta testable version of the second one. Weeks uh, away. Like weeks you away. Talk, you talk about like three, four weeks away or like six, seven, eight, nine weeks away? No, no, three, three or four weeks. Wow. <laughs> you are yeah. rolling. You're on the road, Matthew. No, no, we're, we're, we are really like, uh, well, this is the great thing that we've done is I, I, we've worked out uh, on this first one. We've done a lot of our legwork. So... Um, we we can we, we we don't have to reinvent the wheel for this yeah, second right. story, mm. and um, uh, you know working with the we're working with world class everyone who's working on this project are world class so mm. you know we're not wasting any time we're moving quickly and we're <laughs> moving with confidence <laughs> and uh, great excitement wow, so we're we're going to record the uh, at the end of August I'll be recording the um, the English voiceover uh, for the second story at the end of August so. Mm. That'll give you an idea of how quickly we're moving. Wow, it's good. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, your second edition. I mean, uh, the, the next in the series already. So uh, it's, it's very exciting. So we've got the third one up our sleeve too. Now wow. we've got the third story written. Already written. Can yeah. you tell me? Can you tell us the name? Uh, it's too. Early? It's, it's going to be something about uh, the crowd. Something along the lines of the crowded house. Crowded. The Crowded House is the working title, so, mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be, it's a lot more slapstick, and um, the, the, the first two stories have a very strong uh, moral, moral about them. The, mm -hmm. the third one is a little le more playful, a little mm -hmm. bit more slapstick, right. goofy, and, and uh, I, I think uh, maybe, Maybe appeal to a, an even younger audience, and we're going to be uh, we're going to explore some different visual mm -hmm. uh, methods as well uh, in this third story. Would it be an old story like the first two, or would it be like a brand yeah. new old story? No, it's an old story. It's an old story that we've rewritten. Yeah. So okay. these stories are uh, um, these are oral stories. They're they're in the public domain, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it, it, it's a. A well told. I, I'm I, I'm a big fan of storytelling, where where you don't have pictures and you don't have music, you just have a storyteller. And a well told story, it's completely magical. You don't need mm. you don't need anything else, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but for most people in the 21st century, they don't have opportunities to experience that. Mm. And uh, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to be respectful of this oral tradition of storytelling, uh, but we're also you know, cognizant. We're cognizant that people are are saturated by images, you know, and saturated by sounds, and and so what we're trying to do is we're trying to. Uh, I guess I guess a big part of our job is editing it, right? We're, we're we're trying to edit through and get to the essence of the story, translate it into language which we think will appeal to uh, a broad spectrum of people, and uh, make sure the message is understood for for a 21st century audience. And, uh, and then make the images and sounds support that, support that. So we're, we're on the one hand, we're, we're, we want to honor the, the oral legacy, the, the legacy of the story. Uh, but at the same time, we want to make it our own and sort of put it out and project it into the future. And uh, it's, it's a big part of our, our, our mandate is to, is to uh, be respectful of its, of its legacy. Mm -hmm. So... That's cool. Uh, so thanks a lot, Matthew, and uh, thanks for your time tonight. Thank you, Captain. I know.